Hi, welcome to another mini episode of Bethany Talks About Stuff. This is one of my Monday Musing Series episodes, and today is my July 4th special. I'm the host, Bethany F. DeVores, author of the Sea of Chronicles, available from Amazon. And today, I just want to share a couple of quick thoughts about July 4th. One is that I am a bicentennial baby, which means I was born in 1976. So you can always take my age, add 200 years, and you'll know how old the country is. Ta-da! Even I can do that math, which is, math is a challenge for me, just saying. So, yay! I'm very patriotic, and I just, I love being able to say I'm a bicentennial baby, even if it does make me really old. <laughs> or I feel old anyway. <laughs> uh, so, the other thought, uh, I was going to record myself singing the Star Spangled Banner and that be part of my Monday musings today. However, it, the recording went really badly. Like this is not really set up for music recording. And also I was doing an acapella and it just, it wasn't going well. And so I decided to scrap that. It reminded me of when I was a kid and I joined the Brownies. Now, if you're not familiar, the brownies are like the introduction level to the Girl Scouts. So you don't get to be a Girl Scout till you finish the brownies, or at least at that age. Now, I, I don't know how it is now. This was years and years ago, and I barely remember anything about it. I did it just for the brownies, and then I got involved in so many other things. My mom said, you can't do everything you have to pick. The first thing I let go of was the brownies. But while I was in it, I did it and um, we had a little ceremony in which we had our, you know, family members come and they watched us, you know, say the Pledge of Allegiance and sing the national anthem and do our little uh, pledges, you know, with the brown, within the brownies, all the little, like, I'm going to be a model citizen, blah, blah, blah. And uh, when we were preparing for the ceremony, the leaders asked, well, who knows the Star Spangled Banner? And I, my hand shot up. I know it. I know it. And they're like, good, well, you can lead it. Now, I don't remember us practicing this. And I was a ham as a kid. I'm obviously kind of a ham now, but I was also a ham as a kid, even because my mom always tried to get me out to, to sing in front of people. She was also a ham, <laughs> but it was more fun to shove me up there in front of everybody. I don't remember us practicing. I just remember the actual event, which I was supposed to lead. Nobody told me I was supposed to step out to lead. So I led from where I was already standing in our semicircle, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, what was not fine, however, was that nobody heard me sing it all the way through the end to the end. So we had a little surprise because normally the Star Spangled Banner, you know, the normal ending. Pretty straightforward. That is not how I sang it. Now, what you need to know is that my mom was a very musical person. There was always music going on in the house, in the car, anywhere we were. If she could play music, she did. And one of her favorite groups was the Statler Brothers. And they sang the Star Spangled Banner. But they were known for their, like, really good harmonies. And they had, like, this, like, crazy ending to the Star Spangled Banner. That's what I sang because I had never heard it any other way. <laughs> that was the only way I'd ever heard the Star Spangled Banner. And I thought that was totally normal. That's how you, that's how you do it. <laughs> the faces. I still, what I do remember about that event is the faces of everybody. When I tried to sing that ending. The, what is happening right now faces, except for my mom, <laughs> who was about to roll out of her chair laughing. Like she was trying not to, but she still kind of was. Because she knew exactly why I was singing it like that. 
and it was horrifying. Like in retrospect, it was horrifying. I wasn't horrified that day. I was like, why aren't y'all singing this right? <laughs> in retrospect, I'm a little horrified. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Anyway, that's my 4th of July story. I hope that you have a great holiday. I still think while I have much love and respect for uh, all of our brothers and sisters in other countries, I still love my country. I think it's the best country in the world, but I'm biased because I live here and I love it. Uh, and I hope that you guys enjoy and remember that we live in a, a free country. And while we have our problems, it's still wonderful to live here. And I hope you have a great holiday. Please be safe. Don't blow your fingers off with fireworks, okay? I just would like you to not do that. Have a nice Monday and a great week.